Landlords, do you need to provide a copy of your name, address, and phone number and your tenancies to your tenants when you manage your own property? Hi, my name is Rob Wells. I'm the Landlord Warrior on TikTok and YouTube. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our videos. Now, I run into this issue quite a lot with landlords, um, particularly when we have to issue uh, termination notices. Um, well, we have to put their name, telephone number, and phone number um, an address in, in the notice and the landlord will tell me well, Rob I don't feel comfortable giving my tenants that information yet that landlord manages their own property well my response to those landlords are um, not only do you have to provide your name address and telephone number where legal notices and issues can be given to you as required by law under the civil code at the onset of the tenancy, anytime you change management, like let's say you hire a property manager or you designate another person to do those functions, you have to give your tenants notice of the change of management within 15 days of you actually doing it. And a lot of landlords run into trouble this way. Um, my solution to landlords that don't want their tenants to know their address or phone number or that type of deal is either um, you hire a property manager that will take care of those things for you but if you self-manage you can always you know get like a private mailbox a PO box you can designate a work address you know where you're when you're gonna usually be at your place of work you know that's public you know and you know it's not your private residential address uh, you could do a number of things. You can get a, a different phone number for your business, so to speak. The fact of the matter is, if you manage your own properties, you're required to give notice to the tenants of where you can be found to be given notices. And likewise, for your tenant, the mail notice it, you know, notices to you. And that's going to be true for your tenants as well. Each lease generally has a proportion in the lease where you're going to have to provide that information. It's just required by law. So hopefully that helps out. If you have any questions or anything, you can like, share, and subscribe to the videos. I'll try to answer all the questions in the comments below. Until then, we'll see you then. Thanks.